Today we're going to work on converting numbers to tens and ones up to 99. The directions ask us to type the missing numbers. So I'm going to use my scratch pad to help. We want to turn the number 27 into tens and ones. So let's split our number and figure out which number is in which place value column. Well, our two is in our tens and our seven is in our ones. So it's asking how many tens are in this number. Well, there are two tens in this number. And how many ones? Well, there are seven ones in this number. So let's close the scratch pad. Two, seven, and check our answer. Great job. Again, I'm going to use the scratch pad to help me split this number up into different place values. Our one is in our tens and our nine is in our ones. So this number 19 has one ten and nine ones. Close our scratch pad, type in, check our answer. Type the missing numbers. This number is 11. How many tens and how many ones? Let's split up this number and do our tens and our ones. So there is one ten and one one. So let's close that scratch pad and type in one, one. Nice work. On this one, the number is 23. So again, let's use that scratch pad split it up to make sure that we're seeing each place value. There are two tens and there are three ones. So this would be two tens and three ones. Let's type it in. Super. Now we're looking at the number 18. We need to fill in the missing number again. If I use the scratch pad one more time, I should be able to see that our one is in our tens place value column and our eight is in our ones place value column. So this would be one, 10, and eight ones. So let's close our scratch pad and type that in. Nice work. By now, you might have caught on and noticed that this first number is going to go into our first box because it represents our tens, and this second number represents our ones so it's going to go into our second box. So for this one, we would have one ten and two ones. Correct, great star. Ooh, this is a little bit different. This one wants us to convert 15 to tens and ones. So let's use that scratch pad again, and let's draw and just determine which numbers are in which place value column. Well, our one is in our tens and our five is in our ones. So one, 10, and then our ones would be plus five ones. So now we can look below the answers and see if any of them match. 15 tens, well, that's not right. 1, 10 plus 5 ones, that looks right. 5 tens plus 1 one, no, and 1 10 plus 15 ones. So we know that this one is the correct answer. Now they want us to convert 17 to tens and ones. Again, let's use that scratch pad. We know that our one is in our tens and our seven is in our ones. So 1, 10, plus seven ones. So let's check below and see which one matches. Seven tens and one one, no. 17 tens and seven ones, nope. One ten and 17 ones, nope. But one ten and seven ones matches. Great job. Now we're doing 21 to tens and ones. Well, we know that this number represents our tens and this number represents our ones. So two tens plus one one. Let's see if that's up here. Two tens plus one one. Two tens plus 21 ones, nope. One ten plus two ones, nope. Two tens plus one one, yep. And 21 tens plus one one, nope. So we know that this one 
matches our answer. Super! Our last one, 28 to tens and ones. We're gonna convert this. So remember that our two is our tens and our eight is our ones. So we're looking for two tens and eight ones or two tens plus eight ones. Is that the same as eight tens and two ones? No. 28 tens and eight ones? Nope. Two tens and 28 ones? Nope. How about two tens and eight ones? Yep. Great job, nice work. We've done a great job converting numbers to tens and ones up to 99.